Hey everybody, and welcome to another episode of Nerd Day Reacts. I'm your host, Carlos Rodriguez, aka your Nerd Day. And we are going to be live reacting to the Xbox and Bethesda Games Showcase. Xbox is having a rough year with a lot of delays and stuff like that. So let's see what they have to kind of take us over the edge for the you know upcoming year. What new footage are we going to see from some stuff? I mean, the hope is always Fable. I doubt we're going to see Fable just because it's so early development. So we're going to transition over here real quick. Um, there we go. Look at me. Look at me. I look almost professional. So we got four minute countdown. Um... And if you're watching this live, thank you for sh coming to the live show over at twitch.tv slash nerdaday. And if you're not watching this live and you're watching the, the VOD over at YouTube, thank you uh, for supporting me and checking out youtube.com slash nerdaday. Um, as well, I have a Patreon. Um, I, I am not prepared to list the Patreons just because I am also <laughs> doing a million things. I literally just walked in the door um, and I quickly ate lunch and I grabbed water, um, which you cannot see from this angle. All right, so let's center my face. I gotta mirror it though, man. Maybe if I do this real quick and let's see, we got like we got a minute, right? So it looks like I'm like I'm staring at the thing, even though I'm not. Um, hmm. Nah, you know what? Let's mess it. Let me just look. All right, all right. Jeez, man, everyone's doing the thing. Everyone's doing the Xbox thing right now, man. I am drowning in the sea of awesomeness. <laughs> <laughs> that is just everyone online watching the Xbox Bethesda thing. But, you know, that's how it is, you know, with content creation and you're just starting. Um, so if you are in the chat, let me know how everything sounds. I did just recently fix some audio issues I was having, as you can hear, probably with my my VOD or previously with um, the, you know, PlayStation State of Play and then... Uh, Summer Games Fest. I have had some issues recently, so lower the mic audio on here itself. I right, know, maybe not. All right, just just a just a tinsy bit. There we go. So I should. Yeah, I'm still peeking in there. In that, let me see. And yeah, it should be good now. There we go. It's like five. All right. So we are live. Yeah, there's some there's some stuff that may have leaked. Um, if that is true, oh no, what did I do? I did the thing. Um, I did the thing. Oh no. Um, I clicked things that wasn't supposed to. <laughs> so we have a minute 46. I think it's already on though. Like, I don't know. Am I on a delay? Should I be on Twitch? I'm on YouTube. I'm on YouTube. Um, so yeah, this is awesome. This is fun. Fun. All right, checking them out. All right, we got a minute left, and I need to stop doing seeing what everyone's doing. <laughs> Just kind of focus on me. Kind of appropriate to be watching the Xbox Bethesda Showcase while I'm wearing my uh, Astro, not Astro, sorry, Steel Series 7Xs. These are for next generation. The only uh, headset that I could find so far that does PlayStation 5, Xbox Series console, PC, and then like I could do a phone with a dongle. Actually, I would say that, but it didn't work last time I tried it. I think it might have been the dongle I used. It was not an official Apple one. It's a hilarious series of events as my team in Evil Dead could not hear me. Um, okay, yeah, you better be watching. You know who you are. <laughs> I don't have my patent in blue glasses um, just because I was running errands and they were blue light filter and I wanted to see the world even though everything is gray in Philadelphia today. So, that's what we got here. Ah. Quick little sip. Sippity sip sip. Sippity do da. Zippity day. All right, I'm stupid. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Let's start. Uh, what version am I watching? Oh, I'm watching the ALS version. Uh, no offense. I just want the normal. All right. We're going to take a quick break. Um, 
mirror. There we go. This one's the one. Okay, so it looks like we're starting off. Some uh, Redfall. Yes, we are. We are starting off with Redfall, <laughs> as, as it seems. I'm really excited for this game. Yeah, I'm good right there. Is that a purple shoddy? Shout out to the purple shoddy. It looks like a shoddy. See, that's never a good sign. Just blood everywhere. Yeah, I'm really excited about it. Last year's tease of this, the the like the graphic, not the graphics, but like the trailer was super cool. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, what's up, Nosferatu? The Blade Convention is elsewhere. So it looks like you got some co-op here. I was about to say, we go into the spider race. Mm. Mm. Damn. Jacob Boyer, the dead eye with an undead eye. I have a Remy. He's awesome. Everyone needs a Remy in their life. <laughs> Student debt, <laughs> aren't we all? Ooh, okay. I like this invisible thing. Damn. I wish I was that precise when I play a game. <laughs> what is a blood bag? Uh, this looks fun. You shall not pass. Yeah. 
Okay, now I want to watch Into the Spider-Verse again. Oh, I love that broken... Uh... Mm. Play D1 with Game Pass. I love that. Oh, Silk Song. All right. Oh, my goodness. Andy Cortez is freaking out right now. Someone someone check on Andy Cortez after my stream. Not before. This little mouse. Right? Is that right? Am I right? Is she a mouse? I forget what she is. I got to play this. All right, ladies and gentlemen, hold on. There we're, looks like we're having some technical difficulties. Play one on Game Pass, okay. All right. Okay. Oh. Realize the issue. Selling humans is drugs. You're the only one that can stop them. Realize we're gonna have to take out the entire alien drug cartel. Oh, okay. I was gonna say a new episode, a new game from. You're uh, just gonna leave me here in in what space? Everybody lives in space, including you. All right, you're a bounty hunter now. You gotta help me rescue my friends. They're Gatlians, just like me. The Gatlians. Hey, why are you squeezing me so tight? How about a little dinner first and some bubble bath maybe first? Look at us, <laughs> JB Smooth. Away. The best. Oh yeah, that's one of my children. They die fast. Don't worry, it's easy to make more. That's one of my children. They die fast. This is really man. Dab, stab. Yes, more, more. <laughs> I need more stabbing. What the hell? I love like his twisted Everyone brain. Fight each other. High on place. Oh, 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 well, oh, well, okay. Well, now, well, now I sorta, now I can. Okay. And it's gonna be on Game Pass. Shout out. Okay. I definitely will try that out. That looks fun. I love him. Sarah Welcome Bond. Welcome to the Xbox and Bethesda Games Showcase. She's so Today, cool. Today, we're doing something we've never done before. For the first time ever, our entire show is focused on games you can play over the next 12 months. You're going to see more months. gameplay than we've ever had in a show. Okay, so Redfall is coming defining before race June? Ripping like narratives, you? compelling strategy titles, okay. and my favorite, the most anticipated open world RPG of the last 20 years. All playable Starfield? in the year ahead. And the best part is, with the Xbox, yeah, you'll be able to play, play those games in more ways than ever before. You can play on your console, PC, or on the go with Xbox Cloud Gaming. You can play with who you want, where you want, and when you want. Today, we're going to show you more than 30 titles that are coming to Game Pass. You need to keep pushing that narrative that, that you can play with anyone and like, titles coming to members access the game over the next anything year. and that you have games because Our next announcement so much stuff shows got pushed back. The benefits back. of Game Pass go well beyond the console. We are thrilled to be working with an iconic team that has built some of the most played, most watched franchises in the entire world. And now, all Game Pass members will be able to unlock the benefits for these incredible games on PC and mobile. 
For over a decade, players have created a thriving culture of competition and Riot creativity games. around okay. our games. So, from clutch plays with friends to unforgettable moments in esports, League of Legends. to amazing creations that have blown our minds, our community has continually taken Riot Games to new heights. Okay. Today, we're proud to invite the Xbox community into that world. We're bringing our biggest PC and mobile games to Game Pass. Subscribers will unlock every champion on League and Wild Rift. All Valorant agents, select cards in Legends of Runeterra. Wow. And little legends in Teamfight Tactics. Okay. And that's just the start. That's Thank a big deal. for coming on this journey with us, and welcome to Riot Games. See, this is smart that Xbox continue. Yeah, there you go, Ari. Yeah, I see it. Ari, there might be a Game Pass family plan coming out. So we'll have to, we'll have to do that. Uh, this is yeah, this is smart. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, this is smart of Xbox to continue to make these partnerships because those are going to be the most beneficial moving forward. Like having having them work with Riot, um, gonna help so much. Um, they don't have much games coming out right so like if you're an xbox player and thought about playing league but they want to put the money out whatever now you don't have to um you know you do route wild rift whatever that is yeah but so the mobile you do that now no charge right you're already paying however much a year or most or whatever yeah there's rumors there's gonna be a game pass family thing so we'll, we'll find that Yeah, this is smart. This is a really good idea. Shout out. I mean, I'm not like, you know, I don't know if my computer can handle uh, Valorant. I kind of wish they had that one RPG though, like the one that tells you the story of like League of Legends, but you don't have to play League. That'd be cool. That's what I kind of want to play. I don't even know what that's called. Someone said it before. I was like, oh, yeah, I didn't know you could find out the lore. I could probably watch Arcane as well. I have not watched that yet. Riot Games and Game Pass. Coming this winter. Okay. All right. Yeah, cool. PC Mobile, PC and Mobile, PC Mobile. Loving this game, play with Game Pass thing is so smart, man. I'm sorry, Amicia. For Hugo. He's not dead yet. I think this is a place still. I've, I've never, I I've wanted to play it. The Macula's not just in Hugo's blood. It can serve Tom never everything. wanted me to play it. I should, I mean, I should. And it can change everything. No. Oh, yeah, this is a play too. I'm just gross. Oh, flesh. I don't mind rats, but if there's like no that many rats, soldiers. we got problems. No more killing us. Like, that's an issue at that point. You know, there's like that many rats. Look out! There's a killer around here. A killer. One of our men has been murdered. Murdered. And I have just alienated any French person watching me. Yay! <laughs> I smell murder. You're only making it worse. Amicia, don't. You. Oh. I'm yeah. tired of being afraid. I'll show them that it's over. Finally. <laughs> See, they're nothing, nothing to be scared of. Damn right, you. Oh, oh God. You are not them. What is wrong with me? I mean, seems like there's a plague. You're trying to save your family. Oh, this dude's got powers? I didn't know that. I have played part one, man.
like the idea as well that Xbox is like condensing like their their scope of like hey this is the next 12 months because covid's uh you know biatch forza all right so this is coming oh wow this looks pretty good on this stream i can't imagine when this looks like a 4k my name is oh mm. Mm. Alright, so we're watching Into the Spider-Verse after this, and I'm going to be listening to the Black Album tomorrow at <laughs> work. Shout out to people who love racing games. Mess around with Horizon a little bit, but that's you know. Shout out to you, who like like this straight up sim. Forza Motorsport is back. I'm Dan Greenwald, GM of Motorsport, and I'm joined by Chris Asaki, creative director at Turn Ten. Oh man, no Forza cool car on the stage. Known for its photoreal beauty and state of the art immersion. Built from the ground up to showcase the Xbox Series X and S consoles, including techniques like real-time ray tracing on track. This is the most technically advanced racing game ever made. Today, we're excited to show you the all-new Forza Motorsport. Welcome to Maple Valley. This track has been a fan favorite since the original Motorsport launched back in 2005. For the first time in Forza Motorsport, fully dynamic time of day brings Maple Valley to life in stunning detail. What you are seeing like is an in-engine gameplay demo presented using a single camera with no cuts. Let's jump in with the M8. completely overhauled the driving experience. This includes a 48 times improvement in the fidelity of our physics simulation. Let's advance time of day here and look at the world details. Everything you see is new and has been captured with photogrammetry and 3D material scans. Advanced rendering and procedural generation techniques bring a new level of realism to the track. Here you can see the beautiful fall colors of Maple Valley. The grass, rocks, 3D vegetation, skies and clouds, they all demonstrate a generational wow. leap in beauty and detail. Again, this is not my cup of tea, but this is this is very pretty, man. Let's advance time again. You are looking at our all new dynamic time of day. This, this is, beautiful, is a yeah. fundamental system to the new Forza Motorsport. And like weather, is available on every track. These new simulation details add further depth, drama, and dynamics to the racing experience. Like, this is really cool. I just... Not for me. In addition to our dynamic time of day, Ford Plus lighting and physically based lights come together to deepen the realism and immersion in the world. Changes in the time of day also change ambient temperatures, which affect track surface temps. Grip is also affected by these track temp changes, rubbering in, and of course, weather. Let's head to the pits. We've added features that players have been asking for. Tire and fuel management, huh. multiple yeah. tire compounds, and new depth in car building create the ultimate racing playset. Some people have asked for this. 
Advanced materials and shaders paired with ray tracing bring out incredible detail in the gold heat wrap, anodized aluminum, and carbon fiber. Engine bays with their complex self-reflection is a place where ray tracing really shines. Shout out to ray tracing. Car damage cool. is a racing it is. reality. In Forza Motorsport, car damage is reproduced down to the individual scratches on the bodywork. You can see here some of the new details in the directionality of damage, how the paint peels away at exposed and raised edges, in the wheel abrasions, and even in the dirt buildup. So Using cool, the my power headphones. of the Xbox Series X and S consoles, ray tracing makes everything feel more connected. Cars reflecting onto other cars. Cars reflect in their own mirrors, bodywork, brake rotors, and wings. Things just feel more natural, more real. We believe that the accuracy of our overhaul physics the beauty of our cars and tracks, our new dynamic time of day, advanced car damage, and real-time ray tracing on track lead to a generational leap in immersion. This is the all-new Forza Motorsport. I mean, it looks, it looks beautiful. Even the little I played of, of Forza Horizon, like I mean that that's cool. It's a little arcadey, so it helps. But I just I wish I was good at these games. <laughs> oh yeah, I was like, wait, they did make games beforehand. <laughs> uh, Flight Simulator, gotcha. Well, Baron, all right. These are the times of our lives. How man has learned to fly. Look. See the splendor of the spirit of St. Louis. Witness how difficult it was for Oval and all to fly this plane. Witness the majestic of award one bad name. Bring back Crimson Skies. That's what I want. I want Crimson Skies in the Flight Simulator engine. If anyone remembers Xbox One or the first Xboxes. Uh... That's not an announcement for here. Overwatch just got announced for October 4th, ladies and gentlemen. And my non-binary folk out there. Who cares? I certainly don't. Try that when Xbox buys Activision Blizzard. Ooh, look at Giraffe. I saw a giraffe yesterday at the zoo. It's besides the Xbox thing. The sky is calling. There's also DLC for, uh, what's the name? Um, Top Gun, Maverick. Yep, that's a thing. Oh, that's awesome. All right, that's actually kind of cool. Get to play as a wraith. Or not wraith, uh, pelican? Hell yeah, I, this actually seems, for this is cool. Yeah, I would totally fly this. That, wait, you can go to space? I didn't know you could go to space. You're selling me on Flight Simulator, man. Free add-on available today. Can I just get the add-on and not like touch the game? <laughs> Blizzard Entertainment presents. Which one's your favorite? Oh, I spoiled that beforehand. Then okay, yes, yeah, so it's Overwatch. Yeah. She's like, cheers, love. The cavalry's here. Cheers, love. You're one of those heroes. My uh, my studio is very toxic. I, oi, governor. You can't be a woman in my my uh, development studio. I. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that's what happens over there, unfortunately. So you know. 
is right around the corner. Uh, fuck Bobby Kodak. Yet again. I am your queen. So yeah, I spoiled this. Let's literally. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> if anyone cares. One yeah, this October is all I need. Nah, bro. I ain't gonna punch in the face. There you go. This is for Adrian. So we'll play Overwatch. Nice work, team. Keep it moving. I cannot wait to push. But I'll try it, man. Boom, baby. Check me out. Maybe I'll try it. I don't know. I say I'll try something now. It's like, well, it's a multiplayer game. It's like, well, my kids are young. And Get in there. I haven't played nearly as enough uh, Evil Dead as I would like. It takes a team to tango. Or Halo. Diva. I'm down for the single player portion of this. That seems really cool. I'm gonna do that. That seems fun. Play early access. Surprise! You'll like this one. What the triple? Like I like these videos. These movies are cool. Like the this is who this is. That was so cool. No wastelander has ever made it to the reckoning before. Oh, hello. But here I am. A free for all. With zero rules. You think Australians would be like, why do y'all always put us in a place where like we love fighting? Gets the throne. Rude. Maybe they don't like that. Welcome back, Chunker Jack. King Howell has never lost. Not in 13 years of rule. On the battlefield. <laughs> Not until today. The reckoning begins. And the king's like, yo, why are you talking to yourself? Who are you talking to? Did you really think this would be a fair fight? Yeah, I like these videos. I'll, I'll watch that later. I like those, those movies. Cool, yeah, whatever. World premiere. There you go. I did it for you, Phil. Mm. History is filled with moments of greatness. Oh, I know this actress. Some like well known, some lost to time she's uh she's doing a bunch of stuff what about the history that could have been if you were its architect yeah she's in like uh she's in the matrix how would you reshape the world what new stories would you tell and when your people speak would you listen how would you lead them in this new world. History is filled with moments of greatness, but these will be yours. Okay, cool. Nice. It's good to be here. Hey. Celebrating what's going to be Pete our Hines. biggest year yet. That includes a few of the projects being developed across Bethesda's eight studios. The Bethesda portion. With Redfall. And the world's well, more first look at gameplay earlier in the show. Yeah, it was cool, man. Redfall is from the studio that brought us Dishonored and Prey. It's got so much of Arcane's DNA coursing through its veins. Compelling heroes, open world campaign, deep customization, solo or with friends, we can't wait for you to play Redfall when it releases early next year. If you're looking for something to sink your teeth into right now, we've got the Elder Scrolls Online. 
where you can adventure alongside one of the biggest no, and you. most welcoming communities in gaming. <laughs> this year, ZeniMax Online Studios is taking you somewhere that has never been explored in any Elder Scrolls game. I'm just joking. The I mean, Elder Scrolls cool. Online High Isle comes to Xbox next week. I feel like any MMORPG is going to grab me. It's going to be Final Fantasy XIV. The Breton elite have lived in safety and comfort. But now, the embers of dissent glow beneath the pomp and circumstance. And whispers of a sinister plot stoke the flames of war. At the heart of the conflagration, it's the ascendant lord. What the hell is that? Is like a spider queen? No, thank you. The legacy of the Bretons must be protected. That's cool armor. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Fallout turns 25 this year. Okay. As we celebrate the legacy of this story ah, boo. franchise. You suck. Bethesda Game Studios takes Fallout 76 players out of Appalachia for the first time. No one cares. And returns to a beloved location. No one cares. Expeditions the Pit is coming this September. No one cares. Why are we Pittsburgh, man? Screw Pittsburgh. Philadelphia. <laughs> I'm obviously joking. People care. That's cool, man. Your arrival's the first news we've had in a while. It might not look like much. I can't even get into this Fallout 4 because of the baseball thing. I was like, nah, I'm not and feeling it. You're making me do this? Nah, I'm good. Can you just automate it? Like, I'll get all the materials. Can I just hit a button and y'all just do it? Like, it's bare minimum. Like, cool. I don't care. When you're alone and life is making you lonely, Downtown. No offense to anyone to fall out. 76 players out there. I, just, I couldn't stick it out, man. I tried it once. I'm like, yeah, I'm good. I'm all right. Bethesda Game Studios has been busy, and not just with Fallout 76. After defining the role-playing genre with hits like Morrowind, Oblivion, Skyrim, yeah, Skyrim Fallout 3, right? and Fallout right, 4, Ari? they're going even bigger Skyrim. with Starfield. You gotta play Later Skyrim. in the show, my good friend Todd Howard will be here to reveal more of their next epic RPG. It's gonna be the other hour. The, the next hour is just Starfield. Oh, cool. Yeah, see, I like. I'll, I'll, I'll try this out more. Yeah. Windows Central, man. They, you know, they make some good. They break some stories, man, over there. I'm gonna check them out, Jess Gordon and stuff. Hot Wheels. I gotta play this with Connor. It's not weird, there's also a Lego racing game. It's actually pretty decent.
I presume that's cool, especially for Horizon, since it's just like such a fun arcade experience. Like, cool, man. That's awesome. Console launch exclusive. But what the hell does that mean? My dad tells stories of a terrible war that happened across the sky. Heroes fought and died to give us a chance to start over. The Dodo. All that I know from their Earth are the creatures they sent along with us. And here on Arat, every day is a fight to survive. So is this Ark? The Vin Diesel Ark King? Damn! But if anyone can tame this new world, we can. It's about family. T-Rex is my family. I named her Letty. <laughs> that is stupid. Alright, cool. Does this have a story? Like, does anyone know this has a story? Yes, it's gonna kill you too. <laughs> yeah, I want to play this. By the way, <laughs> that being said, I want to play this. When the gods first emerged from the great below, we saw them as saviors. Instead, they unleashed a pestilence on our world. No one yet knows if you can kill a god. I, for one, intend to find out. Yeah, try Kratos. It's pretty cool. It's like Kepler publishing order. I mean, really? Hey, this thing looks weird. Let's do it. Is that a gun sword? That was, wasn't it? Are you squall? Dude, that's a gun sword. That's awesome. I think, right? Is that not a gun sword? Weird ass creatures. Are cool. This cow choke up though. No, mm -mm, no, hell no, absolutely not, not playing this game now, no, one rule man, just cause it's fantasy doesn't mean you have to put spiders in it, it's stupid, people are arachnophobic, okay, even Microsoft do that, or like, ground it, they're like, hey, you know what, this thing looks like a, a blob for no reason, cool, thanks, it's a cute fox. The stupid spiders. It's dumb. World premiere. Xbox Game Studios presents. 
Mojang. Wait. Oh, cool. New my, my, Minecraft thing. From the creators of Minecraft, yes. From the studio, I guess. The creators in the Legends job. hold great power. They are the dreams we weave into our shared story. Some legends tell of peace and the beauty of simplicity. The bloody rabbit. Some tell of danger. Evil pigs. And the end of all. Murder the pigs. Kill them, bunny rabbit. But the legends we hold dearest are legends of hope, of creativity. And of bravery and friendships that change the world for brains. This is the legend of a united overworld. It's gonna be like an RTS. United by you. Yeah, it's RTS one with that. Um Okay. Yeah, man. That's definitely out there for somebody. Council launch exclusive. I remember when you first arrived. You made quite the entrance. Oh, it's like Slime Rancher or something. You wanted to make a new life for yourself. I was joking. It's actually like Slime Rancher. There you go, Ari, just for you. Playing crops. Fight them dodo birds. And while you explored, you uncovered a mystery. Of course you are. I'm sure we can get to the bottom of this. Of course you are. Together. Guys, ah, this seems cool. Lightyear Frontier. I wonder what the game loop is, though, like, um, story wise, with that. Look <laughs> at this dog. This dog is gonna murder him. The samurai ninja. It's a old show called Samurai Peach Cat. Yeah, you do have to get back a Ooblis. I think there's an update too. Kind of cool. <laughs> A 
Hello? Anyone here? Only anguish fills this residence, Benedict. Yeah, I mean, I would say it's a plot twist. Jesus. Side scrolling, okay. There must be more. Like a Metroidvania. Don't That's mind him. if I do. My father. I can guide you through his memories. We're close. Don't let your fright hold you back now. This seems really cool. Like a standout for me. Good to see you, you old devil. Pull yourself together. The last case of Benedict Fox. All right, yeah, man, that looks cool. That one I'm digging. That looks cool. Actually, I want to write this down, man. That looks decent. Bonjour, everyone. I am Bonjour. excited to be here today to tell you more about Interior Nights' first original creation, As Dust Falls. It started with the desire to create a deep interactive experience all levels of players can enjoy together because stories are brilliant, universal tools that help us understand the heartbreaking beauty of life. This game is an uncompromising tale of family, resilience, and sacrifice, written like a prestige TV show with a unique motion graphic novel style oh, that right. triggers the imagination. Last year, I believe. Yeah. This is an interactive story powered by video games <clears throat> that gives you agency over the lives of far from perfect human beings. This is a thought provoking experience. You can play with people you love, discover insights about each other and create shared memories. As Dust Falls is an emotional experience that we hope will leave a mark with everyone who plays it. people to rock is just a pit stop wasn't taking the scenic route your idea this! but for us it felt like a trap there's enough cash in that safe to put the last few weeks behind us on the ground now you were in the wrong place at the wrong time We've been in the wrong place forever. Sometimes doing the right thing is doing the wrong thing. I've got eyes on two hostages. None of us escaped that night. It's okay. Even those of us who made it out alive. Stop! Why are you following me? We've taken very different paths in life. But they all lead back to Two Rock. Get rid of the cop. Hey there. Evening. Hey, Sam. Say, uh, you haven't seen three fellas in a blue pickup, have you? Nope. Been here all day. How you liking the desert dream? Oh, uh, can't complain. Can I uh, ask what brings you to Two Rock? Good. Oh, you can do multiplayer up to eight players. I wonder how that plays. You're bleeding thirst for battle.
Oh, I've heard this is like a battle royale thing, right? Yeah. Big in, in China. I believe, right? I don't know. Nice. What is this? Such a cool, like, um, art style. No, I'm not afraid. <laughs> From Obsidian? Oh, okay. Jeez, what is Obsidian working on nowadays, man? They're doing so much. Pentiment. November. All right, shout out to Obsidian. Game Studios presents. Kids, are you ready for a new wild and wacky fruit flavor? Introducing Africa. Stop by and make sure you get your Billy Hall hot dog. Special breaking report. More local teenagers have gone missing. This could be linked to the disturbing trend of missing teenagers from our otherwise quiet town. Oh, grounded. If anyone has seen the teenagers or has any other information, please contact the police department. Hello, micro friends. Great news. Verbal knows you might be a little homesick, but that can be repaired. First, you will need to survive the yard against terrifying insects and treacherous wastelands. Unfortunately, my memory chip is a little rusty, but with a little maintenance, we can unravel why you are here. Before someone or something terminates your tiny existence. Good luck. I wonder if this is the 1.0 launch of Grounded. Yeah, okay, so the gameplay for you showed this is this is full 1.0 version of of Grounded. Fully fleshed out. Full story, okay.
Helios. They search for someone who does not exist. The Shadow. The forgotten child of a scattered race. Lost until now. Now they have awakened the Erebon. Now they have awakened me. But I am not their hope. I am their reckoning. Okay. Looks like you use the shadows to fly around. Not fly around, but like they will zip not around. drag me into their light. Arabic. Because their light is a lie. Okay, that looks decent. Oh, God. I speak now to those who heed a darker call. Oh, my God. Those bold enough to cross the line of sin for deeper knowledge. Who follow an unquenchable yearning, born of blood and bone. To unlock the forbidden secrets and foulest Is this, is this Diablo? Calling forth life from death. Sacrifice to this profane knowledge. That person did nothing to you. You will be a priest of Rathma, a necromancer. Says Diablo. And you will not confront the darkness alone. Are the speakers of the dead, and the dead have no mercy. Okay, all right, Diablo Four. Showing off a new character, the Necromancer. A new class, pardon me. I'm very excited to announce our fifth and final Rod class, Ferguson, the Necromancer. He's like, man, the I got out of Microsoft and then he just bought me anyway. The other iconic classes around the campfire in Diablo 4. These include the mighty barbarian, the elemental sorceress, the crafty rogue, and the powerful druid. And you'll want them because the demon Lilith, the daughter of hatred, has returned and spreading corruption and evil as she fights to reclaim our dark gothic world as her own. And it's up to you to stop her. Now, Diablo 4 is the culmination of the 25 year history of the franchise, building on top of the best of what's come before with some, you know, unique twists all its own. So let's dig a little deeper by watching, for the first time I might add, some Xbox Series X gameplay, while hearing from a few of the many people behind the game.
Diablo 4 is the next generation of action RPG, melding monster slaying and loot collecting with a fully realized open world. It's not for the faint of heart. It's gory and unnerving. It's creepy. Diablo 4 is all about player choice. It takes all of the pillars of a Diablo game and just expands them with all of the new features that people really love and appreciate in modern games. Whoever you see yourself being, you can create in Diablo 4. It's important to include robust character customization because then I can play the fantasy that I want to play. Okay. It allows you to switch around your playstyle as well. Everything feels very powerful and fun. One of the really cool things about having an open world is your journey that you take throughout Diablo 4 is your own. There's no linear path that you have to follow. We've got almost 150 dungeons in the game. Jeez. There's all kinds of surprises as you're exploring. Strongholds are an enemy territory that you need to reclaim. But you might have a space that begins as a hostile area, but after you've cleared it out... The evil in this place has been cleansed. It now becomes a friendly town. Oh, that's cool. Kind of like uh, Assassin's Creed town, stuff. Sometimes or it's a new dungeon. There's horizon. a whole bunch of rewards that you get and you have a real impact on the world as a result. No, you can't leave us here. They might come back any moment. Local events are really cool little story <clears> segments <throat> that me. happen within the open world. You'll just be running through the world and then a local event will pop up and you can choose to participate in it or get a group together and just wail on these like giant world bosses. Jesus. These are events that take a lot of it's people like and you really salamander. have to work together. Being able gold. to see all the players on your screen collaborating, trying to take this big monster down, it's it's epic. I think it's like puking molten gold. It's so easy to create a community. It makes Diablo more of a social experience. Yeah, you're gonna have crossplay, cross play, cross got Fully enabled cross play. Oh, okay. If you have okay. an Xbox <laughs> and your buddy has a PC, you're gonna be able to group up. What about PS5? Couch co -op. Two people on a couch can sit there and have a great experience. You said PC. We've created specific zones where players can engage in PvP. If you go there, you can start swinging away at people. But you're also opening yourself up to being swung at. If you're like really, really good, the game actually marks you as like a champion on the map. You basically become a loot pinata, and everyone wants to chase you down. The last story mission is really the beginning of a whole different part of the journey. Now you're set up for the end game, and that end game is rich with things to do that allow you to get more and more powerful. It's Whether smart. It's new items or new okay. dungeons. It's smart to get them ahead of time. Like, Every hey, time you come back to play once you beat the game, there's, there's stuff you can do. New stuff for you to experience. Like, I, I don't know and if there's a release date, but still to do that ahead of time is very smart. Uh, communication is I'm key. I'm really excited everything. for folks to get their hands is on that Diablo. Spider? Well, you just someone to walk? People really no. The different options. Yeah, Absolutely campaign, not. Local events. Couch co-op. You have eight legs. PvP. Humans have two. It almost doesn't. End. No. No. And we are so close. Hell no. No. Oh. Gonna take over this human body? No. You are a giant spider, like. Fear is your tactic. That's enough. Okay. Oh, so it's coming out for Xbox and PC. So there's crossplay between those. It's not coming out for PlayStation. Oh, okay. Okay. We brought updates that were free to those who <laughs> sailed the sea. Though there's always more potential. It's just like Sea of Thieves version of uh, Tangled Song. This song will spell out. There's plenty to sing. About. Now that you can finally be a captain, can you imagine 
morning, dear Rochef. Decorated with what you acquire. Then to satisfy your vanity, as long as there's no profanity, you can name it just how you desire. Booty McBoot face. Set sail as a pirate captain. <laughs> Does both boat of new features be proclaimed? <laughs> oh, to set sail as a pirate captain. That's why we really think that you should play this game. And it's available with Xbox Game Pass, of course. Oh, to set sail as a pirate captain. <laughs> Adventure will come knocking on your door. Can you still play oh, with Jack Sparrow? As a pirate captain. Can you still, like, find him in the world? You'll be amazed at what we have in store. Choices yours, whatever captain you may be. Whether that's cold looting, no scope shooting, rumble racing, or embracing, everybody's welcome in this game. So come set sail as a pirate captain. Do, do, do. Our time is almost up, so as we leave, do, 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 do. if you want to be a pirate captain, come do it in season do, do, seven do, to see your thieves. Do, do. Nice. Left me a good old jingle. Dude, that girl just moved in her house. That sucks. So <laughs> like, let me check out, uh, you know, set my room up, and uh, let me go check out. Oh, there's a cool bar. Oh my god! Wow, this is crazy. No, thank you. Someone definitely has typophobia and is like freaking out right now. The art style is so interesting in this game, like the like pixelated yet anime esque. No, they look evil. I would not trust those things. Steampunk mecha bird. What the hell is that? No. Hell no, man. It's like Alice in Wonderland. Oh, wait, yeah, actually, I think it is Alice in Wonderland, right? Because there's like a, a bunny rabbit and stuff. World premiere. Console launch exclusive. And Imperna, cool, nice. Oh, this is going to be good. Oh, person made uh, Inside in Limbo. Now you get to play as the spider from inside or from Limbo. This thing's cool. Look at what is this. Whoa! What? That looks pretty. Man. That looks cool. It looks like it's gonna have some difficult puzzles, but that looks decent. Cocoon. That looks good. Cocoon looks good. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, there, there's some of these that look decent. All right, like Cocoon looks decent. Kobe Tech mode. Uh, 
What is this? It's like zombie. Uh, Team Ninja. I found you. What is this? It's like Samurai Warrior? Or? Washing die out here, yeah. He's a brick. House. He's mad to my tail. Oh, the Cody Tech was like, hey man, it's a cool, like, fantasy thing. Alright. Okay. That's cool, man. That, um, that's uh, pretty gnarly looking stuff in the background, man. That's decent. Koei Tecmo, man, and, and Team Ninja. They make some good stuff, for the most part. Japan is the home to some of the most talented and well-known game creators Phil Spencer. anywhere in the world. We're thrilled to be working with Koei Tecmo to bring Wolong Fallen Dynasty Wolong. to Game Pass day one. Day one, cool. I'm also excited to be working with Team Ninja, who has a long history of building incredible action games for Xbox, and it's great to be working with them once again. We know how important it is to our fans to continue to bring more Japanese franchises to Xbox. I'm excited to announce the return of one of the most highly requested and beloved franchises to Xbox from our partners at Atlas. Persona? Persona? Oh, Persona 3? Yes, here we go. Hell yeah. Wow. Oh, a Persona 4 Golden? I love I spell Persona and my notes are off. Wow, so three golden and five. Now, is this royal or regular? Salt Bay. Wow, three of the best video games, like three of the best RPGs ever coming to Xbox. Shout out. It's royal. Okay. Wow. <clears throat> Alright, so Persona 5 Royal is coming first, October 21st. And then we'll, I guess, subsequently get Persona 3 Portable um, and Persona 4 Golden. Wow, that's big. Way to the end on that one, but that was like close to the now, end of this. I'm excited to announce a special partnership between Xbox Game Studios and one of the greatest creative minds and innovators in our industry. Someone that I have admired for many years. Today, I'm pleased to share, we will be working together to create a brand new experience like we've never seen before. Thank you, Hugh. <gasps> Hideo Kojima. えー、それが作れる日が来るのをずっと待っておりました。え、マイクロソフトの最先端クラウドテクノロジーと市場の変化によって、その未知なる構想への挑戦がようやく可能となりました。え、少し時間はかかるかもしれませんが、え、これからえ
we're thrilled to have Kojima Productions so Kojima's working, gonna be with, our working teams with Xbox. At Xbox Game okay. Studios. Today, for the first time, I mean, we kind of heard about what it might be. Showing you games that you can play. It's a lot of games. Don't get me wrong. Today's show celebrates a diverse lineup of global Let's game creators that. of all sizes who bring with them unlimited potential. Games oh, from these creators will be coming to Game Pass every single month, including Naraka Blade Point, As Dust Falls, A Plague Tale Requiem, Pentiment, Persona 5 Royale, Somerville, and Scorn, just to name a few. And we start 2023 with the launches of some of the most anticipated titles from the teams at Xbox and Bethesda. Redfall, Minecraft Legends, okay. Starfield, Forza Motorsport, and more. This has been an incredible year as we achieved record growth across console and Game Pass with millions of people playing our games every single day. And we have you to thank for that. Whether that's new players joining us through Xbox Cloud Gaming or our longest fans playing on Xbox and PC, we could not have done this without you. A year ago, we welcomed the talented studios at Bethesda Softworks to Xbox. Oh, yeah, yeah. Their so we're going to end it with Starfield. Work, bringing Smart. their franchises to Game Pass, shipping updates to their games, and building new experiences for you to enjoy. We know that everyone has been eager to see Starfield. Our show today has highlighted gameplay, so it's only fitting that we end it with an extended first look at one of the most anticipated games in Xbox history. This is Starfield. crazy that Starfield has been pushed back, man, but I mean, it, COVID has really messed up so much, so it's going to be interesting to see what this looks like, and they can't really miss with this either, like, Xbox needs a win. Is there a multiplayer on that one? It's hard to express how excited all of us Todd as are to be here with you today. We're so grateful you're spending the time and we know you've waited a long time to finally see Starfield. I like that uh, check it's easily Todd. our most ambitious game ever. Like our previous games, it's an epic role-playing game where you get to be who you want and go where you want. It's smart to this end time, this, this be like last 10 minutes space. with just Starfield. So let's jump right in. This is early in the game as you arrive on the mysterious moon of Crete. According to the scanners, the abandoned research facility is in this direction. Wow, okay. Like scan stuff for survey stuff.
Shoot it in the face. Or not, I guess not. Crabs. Space crabs. Shout out to space crabs. This looks decent. I mean, I don't know what, you know, I'm not obviously not a game developer. I don't know what, what you would need. You know what makes this not ready to be played this year? Um, I mean, there's probably some polishing and stuff. This is obviously a vertical slice. You know, we're not getting like the full, um, like, oh my god, here we go. This is like the craziest thing ever. Like, this is ready to go tomorrow. Like, no, it's not. It would appear that pirates of the Crimson Fleet are using the facility. Ooh, that's a cool looking gun. So it's weird to say, but I'm getting kind of like a No Man's Sky vibe from this, but like... Better? Is that horrible to say? It's better. He got shot in the ball. That sucks. That's how you die? Like, hey, did, how did Johnny die? Oh, he got shot in the butthole. Like, he, like, Craig tried to avenge his death, but he got he got shot in the face like an honorable pirate. Um, Johnny just took 10 to the taint, and that was it. And just died. That's kind of cool, I guess. Well, it seems easier than trying to like hack stuff and uh and uh, Fallout. This looks decent. I'm gonna lie, this looks pretty crazy. This actually does seem like a day one for me. Thank God for Game Pass. Okay, have more time. I think, I think we're good to change that one. Guys, I am hungry. some initial encounters, you're invited to join Constellation, who, in the future the game is set in, are the last group of space explorers. To meet them, you'll head to the capital city of New Atlantis. Oh, wow. This is beautiful. This is little city hub. Wow. This is beautiful. God, this looks huge, though. Like, it feels like daunting to be able to walk around here. Mine is the apple. Welcome to Constellation. We have a lot to talk about. Facial animations are we're all here not great. We're Still, to the a little better question. for Bethesda. What's out there? I mean, you guys are on a different planet. I guess you get other planets, right? Everything we've been looking for. Oh, uh, like, gotcha. As to what they are, what they're building. That's Flora Bailey. You'll be part of solving that puzzle now. Is that Laura Bailey? So, you found something? The new guy found it. You dug up the artifact, right? That means you saw it. The visions? The artifact you found appears to be one of many scattered across the galaxy. Wow. If we can find more, we can unlock their secrets. Beautiful, isn't it? The man who sold me this told me that it spoke to him. Of course, the Settled Systems is full of groups with other priorities. That's the Crimson Fleet! Everybody get ready! The Fleet doesn't follow the rules. Agree to work for UC Sister. Together, we take down these cutthroat pirates. We're not just here to shoot the bad guys. We're peacekeepers who protect the people of the Free Star Collective. When you sign up with the Crimson Fleet, no one quits. The only oh, so you could be a pirate. Is mm -hmm. death. That's cool. The head may be dangerous. But we are not stopping. Spiders. 
most Dusties don't even make it this far. Because whatever lies at the end of this road will change humanity forever. I mean, this does look like a game changer within the like Western RPG scene. That gives you a look at the stories in Starfield. But ultimately, it's not our story. It's the story you create by who you are and the choices you make. And that starts with character creation. It's our most flexible yet. You can customize all the elements of how you look. I'd rather not be fat in a game. I'm fat in life. Or I'd be like really fit, you know what I mean? Like You'll pick a background that gives you three starting skills. Damn. Mm. It says here you spend some time as a diplomat. Having a way with words might prove useful. There are optional traits, and these come with unique advantages and disadvantages. I'm already an introvert in real life. Don't. It's not either. just in how you can look, but in how your character plays and develops. The one guy looks like Robin Shu. Uh, the skill guy who system Luke combines Cage. the best from our previous games, and you can unlock new skills as you level up, and then you rank those skills up by using them and completing challenges. Oh, okay. And there's deep crafting systems, from running research projects with resources you find to crafting weapon mods needed to survive. Get out of here, space alien. Shoot you. Tendril? Is that a tendril? And you can build your own outposts. No. Mm -mm. These act as a home away from home. Don't. For survival and resource generation. No, dude. You come can on. Choose where and how to build each one. I hated that in Fallout 4. You meet to keep it up and running. Can they build it for me? But that's not all. This shit sucked. You can even build your own spaceships. So I'm building Serenity because I think kind of look like Serenity, and I'm gonna make my own Serenity. Sold, sir. <laughs> Sold. Also means free. I have. Gigas. You can choose crew members, and yes, you can completely customize the look and layout. Yes, uh, it's called Firefly. There's loads of different modules, ship manufacturers, and more. I will a hundred percent make say, that. It's so cool. We just absolutely love this. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, I love it too. Cause I'm gonna make my own Firefly class ship. It's not just how the ship looks; it's how it performs, from engines to shields to weapon systems. Because yes, you can fly it. I do like this. It seems very realistic in a way. Um, I mean, as much as realistic a video game can be for like space travel, you know. At least it seems almost like a logical step of where we're at. Okay, yeah, that is definitely flying it. You do third person too. That's cool. And I'm gonna puke. Space combat. Pew 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 pew. Fun fact, everyone: there's no sound in space. Didn't know if you knew that. Burst that bubble. Science. Dude, this looks cool, man. This game looks massive though. This makes sense that it's been taking forever. We can't wait for all of you to experience the game. Thanks again for being with us today and thanks for all the support you've given us over the decades, especially on this game. It's been an incredible journey for us making it, but we know that's really only the beginning for it's when all of you play it that the real journey begins. And you may be wondering, just how big is this game? So we thought we'd take one last moment and show you. Let's take a look at one of our planets, Jemison. You can land into Atlantis, 
but you can also land and explore anywhere on the planet. And it's not just this planet, it's all the planets in the system. From barren but resource heavy ice balls to Goldilocks planets with life. And not just this system, but over a hundred systems. What? Over 1,000 planets, all open for you to explore. We can't wait. Todd Howard, I have find. two children and not enough time. You know? That's not fair. <laughs> you can't give me that many options. Hey, you can make outposts. Nah, that's too much. I mean, no, this looks cool though. <laughs> it does. Yeah, let's not expect to see Skyrim or, you know, Elder Scrolls 6 until, like, 2030? Like, maybe? It like, seems like a 2030 game on that one. If I'm right, I'm sorry. I don't mean to be right. crazy you can play on the cloud like that's just insane to me End game montage as always. So yeah, that's uh, that is the Xbox Bethesda. Sorry, Bluetooth. Uh, showcase. I'm gonna switch it here. Have that kind of play in the background, music-wise. Um. So yeah, we're gonna give some like quick impressions. So I try to fix the camera a little bit, a little bit. Yeah, it's fine. Whatever. Um, wow. Yeah, I don't know, man. I feel like, um, this not, they have not really hit home with a lot of the stuff we've been seeing. Silk Songs, definitely one of them, Overwatch. Um, but, well, not my thing. I mean, I will, you know, it's a huge game. So there, there's definitely some huge news here, like Riot Games hooking up with them. Um, Redfall looks good. Um, them focusing on the next 12 months is smart, very smart. Um, Diablo 4 looks decent. Um, As Dust Falls looks very unique. That's coming out next month. That looks really kind of fun and crazy. Um, in its own way, them teaming up with Atlas is a great, great thing. So having Persona 3 Portable, Persona 4 Golden, and Persona 5 Royal. Um, all being available on Xbox on Game Pass, huge, absolutely huge uh, for JRPG fans. Um, no Halo announcement, anything like rumored battle royales, anything like that. Um, shut this down real quick. Um, so you just hear me now, but yeah, that is huge. That is that's gigantic. Um, yeah, and I just looking at my notes here. So we have Kojima Productions. Obviously, that was heavily rumored and kind of uh, leaked earlier. Um, I have it here. The leak says that the the game's being called Overdose is going to uh, have Maggie. Oh, pardon me. I she is an actress. Um, it's like Qualy or something. Qualy, Maggie Qualy. I believe I'm pronouncing that correct. She was uh, previously in um, Kojima's uh, Death Stranding game as Mama. I believe that was her character's name. Um, I have not played that yet. I'm, I'm almost done Peace Walker, and then I'm going to move my way to to that. Um, so, yeah. I mean, there's definitely some good things here. Let's not, let's not beat around the bush. I think there's some strong things from this Xbox conference, but... I mean, all the conferences, I guess you can say, have been pretty, you know, 
pretty lackluster. Um, this one is the strongest out of them, uh, at least between Summer Game Fest and uh, Xbox. Like this was stronger than Summer Game Fest itself, um, especially at the at the back end having Persona three, four, and five. Kojima Productions working on a game with Xbox, even though they announced or showed the trailer that has been described in the rumor and the leaks. Um, ending with Starfield showing ten minutes of that and deep down like there's a thousand worlds you can go you can drop in you can get resources and stuff it seems like um it's, it's huge um overwatch obsidian launching full 1.0 launch of grounded and another narrative game called Pen pentatent i believe that was called i'm definitely butchering that name um death falls uh the last case of benedict fox that looks decent as well like the metroidvania but it seemed very low-key compared to the stuff i mean I, my, they didn't like say expectations are gonna be high or anything like that summer game fest i feel like we had our expectations high because keely usually brings like the craziness but this makes more sense and also makes more sense too as well when we the leak with kojima's uh room if, if it is called overdose that leak if that is true coming out and then it showing up if, they, if there was a trailer today the video just being like hey we're working with xbox on a cloud-based game uh and then him being like and you can see more at sunday's you know showcase that would have been crazy but the fact that we just got kojima saying hey we're working with xbox i'm getting i'm getting to make a game that i've always wanted to make that i've never been able to using the cloud technology that microsoft can have like okay that's big and it's a future thing but i do so now we know overdose if that is what it's called it's not coming out within these next 12 months it is smart i will say for them to be like hey this is focusing on the next 12 months because honestly covid's a bitch this sucks <laughs> like that is the world we live in covid sucks and has ruined so much things in the in the universe so that's difficult to kind of deal with um and it, it shows like it shows in what we have here um and with a lot of like the delays, you know, Starfield being delayed out of this year, um, and stuff like that. I mean, look, I mean, it was supposed to be released 11 11 2022, and at least after State of Play, not the State of Play, pardon me, the um, what we just had with um, yeah, it was I'm sorry, not State of Play, it was Summer Games Fest. There's been rumors that God of War is coming out this year, it's definitely coming out this year, uh, most likely in November is the release date. As the rumor suggests, and there's going to be a state of play about it at the end of the month or some kind of blog post about it. I'm kind of with game, uh, Kevin Diaz. Just be petty and <laughs> release it on 11-11-2022. Why not take Starfield's day? So that game, that date still means it's one. Of, it's the most important game of the fall. Um, and now it just happens to be God of War, not Starfield. Uh, like I said, there's some good things here, but I overall, I'm guess I kind of negative between thursday and today so thank you for rocking with me if you uh were watching live on twitch.tv slash dirt today um i appreciate you and if you are new to watching live or anything i also have a podcast called the april work pop i do have actually it's the april work podcast it's a wrestling podcast i do with my friend uh michael rest pass we talk about wrestling, so give some hot takes and things like that as well. On YouTube, you can take that youtube.com and search Apronwork Podcast or check apronworkpodcast.com for the audio links. Uh, but I have my own entertainment podcast called the Nerd Today Podcast, which is on audio phones and the videos over at youtube.com slash nerd today. Um, and if you're watching the VOD, that's where you're watching it youtube.com slash nerd today. Um, so, yeah, there we go. Um, that is all from me. I appreciate you coming out. And you know what? If you liked what you saw and you want to give some money and kind of donate my way, please, you know, no need, but it'd be awesome. Uh, I have a Patreon, patreon.com slash nerd today. But for myself, your doctor recommended dose of nerdiness, AKA Carlos Rodriguez, AKA your nerd today. <laughs> Thank you for staying with me and I appreciate you. Bye.